top 10 Antarctica urban legends too real to ignore. Starting us off at number 10 is the Ninjin. Arguably the most famous folklore creature associated with Antarctica, the Ninjin is said to be a terrifying deep sea cryptid that has been terrorizing sailors for centuries. First recorded in the early 1700s by Japanese sailors who were exploring the southern ocean, the Ninjin is often described as an enormous white creature with an elongated head and body that resembles that of a whale. But the creepiest part is that many tales describe it as having two human legs. I mean, just look at that thing. Creepy. Now, the ninja has recently had a sort of resurgence after an alleged government employee spotted the creature on a research vessel. Originally posted to 2chan, many others came forward with photos or video. They claimed to be the exact same creature, but officially, no confirmation of its existence has ever been set in stone. Some think it could be an alien, others are firm that it's a sea monster, but either way, it is one of the most feared cryptids in all of the Antarctic. Moving on to number 9, Antarctic Godzilla. Deep in the freezing temperatures of the Antarctic Sea, it's said there lies a creature so frightening that even one look into their eyes could be your last. Allegedly first spotted by a Japanese research trip in 1958, the Antarctic Godzilla is described as a monster with a head length of 30 inches who looks like a cow from the front but a monkey from the top. Said to be covered in brown dark hair with large eyes and pointed ears, the worst and scariest part of this creature is the serrated fin on its back that it can use to slice you in two at the slightest sign of aggression. Which frankly sounds terrifying. But it only gets worse. So as this creature is named Antarctic Godzilla, it's, you know, supposed to be super huge and terrifying, but it's believed that it can survive in not just water, but land too. So pretty much you are never safe. So really it's just one more reason that visiting the Antarctic isn't really for me. Moving on to number eight, an alien base. We have reached that time in our list where we get to talk about everyone's favorite mysterious being, the aliens of course. Now when it comes to aliens, there are lots of opinions about how real or not real they are, but if this next story is to be believed, there is allegedly a secret alien base with advanced and unconventional weapons hidden in the icy waters of the Antarctic. So according to a video uploaded by UFO hunters, a mysterious anomaly about 180 kilometers off the coast of Antarctica has been spotted and they think not only is it some kind of hangar for a spaceship, but that actual aliens are likely residing there too. Now this may be more on the conspiracy side of things rather than urban legend, but whatever, it's all fun. Believers claim that an expedition should be organized so we can confirm the existence of the aliens, but others think that if we aren't careful, we may just kick off an intergalactic war. So whatever it is, let's just hope we tread carefully. Moving on to number seven, Deception Island Sea Monster. In 1906, a Norwegian Chilean whaling company started using Whalers Bay as a base for their factory ship. Other operations followed closely behind them, and then the next thing you know, it was a boom town. But then by just 1931, after a sweeping decline in the market for whale oil due to the Great Depression, the island was abandoned. Since then, it has quite literally been a ghost town, with visitors reporting seeing strange orbs of light coming from the abandoned huts, seeing apparitions of people walking around, and even hearing disembodied voices. But it's not just ghosts and ghouls that are said to creep around the island, but a mysterious, inexplicable monster as well. This satellite image found on Google Earth has spawned numerous theories about what could be hiding in the area, but so far no one has ever come across it to be able to find out more. Next up at number six, the Drake Passage. So obviously the Drake Passage itself is not an urban legend, there's no question about that, but there are many urban legends that go along with it. As many people likely already know, the Drake Passage is considered to be one of the most powerful convergence of seas. Located where the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean converge with the Southern Seas, it is notorious for its treacherous waters and even more notorious for the alleged souls who lost their lives while trying to cross it. It's 
said over the years that more than a thousand people have died attempting to pass through its terrifying and turbulent waves, and many believe that all who have lost their lives to the passage remain haunting the waters to warn those that attempt the feat to turn back. However, the most terrifying legends say they are not there to warn you. They are trying to bring you into their realm with them. So cross the Drake Passage if you dare. Moving on to number 5, Fallen Angels. According to the Book of Enoch, which is an ancient Hebrew apocalyptic religious text, thousands of years ago, 200 fallen angels came down to earth and found solace on Mount Hermon. Upon their arrival, the fallen angels began to intertwine themselves with the inhabitants of the area, stealing away their daughters for themselves, and soon a war broke out with a hybrid race of giants called the Nephilim that ultimately punished the angels for eternity. After losing the war, it said the fallen angels were sent to be imprisoned in a mountain in Antarctica where they will remain frozen for eternity. But of course, there could be a way out of eternity, and some believe if we aren't careful, one one wrong move could unleash them from their icy prison and send the world into a celestial war. Coming in at number 4, a fascist base. In the late 1930s, just before World War II broke out, fascist Germany set out on an expedition to explore Antarctica and eventually came across a section of land that they declared was theirs. New Swabia. Now, this defunct area has long been the subject of legends and conspiracies through the years, but none more terrifying than the legend of the base. As the story goes, in the wake of the expedition, the party built a huge top secret military base there. And after the war, high ranking leaders, scientists, and elite military units who are trying to evade their crimes are claimed to have escaped to this base and survived. But that's not all. Some stories say that this base is not just a top secret hideout for the world's most notorious and evil man, but since the party was often associated with occult practices, some say that the base also leads to aliens, demons, and even an entrance to inner earth. Moving on to number 3, Scott's Hut. During the early 1900s, there was a huge race to be the first country to reach the South Pole. Then in 1911, explorer Robert Falcon Scott and his team set out on a mission against Norway, later called the Terra Nova Expedition, to do just that. A hut was pre-constructed in Britain that was brought over as a base camp for the crew, and they set it up near the Great Ice Barrier. Eventually, it was decided some men would stay behind with supplies and shelter and the rest of the team would venture out further. But sadly, their mission was ultimately a bust, as by the time they reached the pole, the Norwegian flag had already been planted. So the men turned around to head back. But sadly, due to frostbite, starvation, and disease, the men died off one by one and never made their return. Ever since, legend has it that the hut is where the ghosts of the parish men live, and visitors claim that you can hear strange voices and footsteps all around the cabin. Apparently, the minute you walk in, you feel as though you're being watched, and some even swear they have seen the ghosts of Scott and his men lurk inside. Moving on to number 2, Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the southernmost volcano on Earth, and it is still very much active. Some like to refer to it as the place where fire meets ice, as well inside the mountain it is still swirling with hot molten magma. The outside remains frozen solid and surrounded by ice caves. And while that might sound super cool, it is also the site of the infamous Ross Island plane crash, and that is where our urban legend begins. One fateful day in 1979, a tourist plane from New Zealand was flying over Antarctica. Though exactly what happened is unknown, somehow the computer directing the flight got rerouted and instead of taking the usual route, ended up flying dangerously close to the mountain and in the blink of an eye, the plane crashed, instantly killing all 257 passengers and crew members on board. Said to be overwhelmed with ghosts seeking revenge for having their lives taken too soon, many of the spirits are said to roam the island, wandering around the frigid landscape waiting for 
unsuspecting visitors to walk past. And some say that if you walk past the mountain, you can still hear the screams of the victims who lost their lives to the crash. And last up in our number one spot today, the ghost ship of Jenny. As the legend goes, while crossing over the Drake Passage in 1823, the British vessel Jenny got stuck in the ice and was never seen again. For years, no one knew where it really was, what had happened to the boat, or if the crew had survived the treacherous crash. However, about 20 years later, it said a whaling ship discovered them and, believing it to be the legendary Jenny, decided to go on board and check out what might still be on it. Legend says the crew made their way onto the ship, but were horrified to find all the bodies frozen, solid, and perfectly preserved by the ice. However, the most disturbing part was the note they found in the hand of a corpse they believed to be the captain. The note read May 4th, 1823. No food for 71 days. I am the only one left alive. It said the crew were so frightened of the sight that they left all the bodies alone and took only the logbook when they left. However, no one has ever seen the logbook or Jenny again, nor has anyone ever seen the men who allegedly discovered Jenny all those years ago. 